and he loves to swim. I know it sounds a little, it just seems ridiculous. We lived in this house nearly 10 years now. The garage has been sitting here. It was too small really for a car. It's like detached away from the house. Because he loves swimming so much, we tried to do it ourselves. So to do it minimally with some insulation or whatever, and we set up the pool. Towards the end of this year, we thought, you know, like, what if we did? We, we kind of joked about it in the summer and the lady at the dock I mean, was like, you guys wouldn't. And I'm like, we might. And she's like, you wouldn't. And we're like, we might. And then in November, I'm like, we did. <laughs> it's heated, it's done nicely. So basically it is sort of like a flex space. That's how we sold it on ourselves. Hi there, my name is Lisa and this is our Boston Terrier, Thor. He's three years old. We live in a town that's pretty small, so nowhere near us. There's no like doggy daycare with pools here. Yeah, like there's just, there's nothing around here like this that we could have used that we could have done instead there was no other options right so we only took him in the lake once when when we got him because we didn't get him until the beginning of august of 2019 so he was still kind of little we took him in once we didn't really think any more about it there's a beautiful trail close by to where we live. It used to be a railroad track and they turned it into like a biking and hiking trail and it runs right alongside a lake that would be like our go-to place to take him for a walk or whatever. And in the summertime, it would get warm and stuff. So we would be like, go get your feet wet in the lake. And he'd go in there and to be perfectly honest, so many people had told us before, like Boston Terriers don't like water. They don't like to swim. So then one day his dad jumped in there and he just went chase it after him. And he seemed to like really like it. So we're like, hmm. So the, the next time we tried a little more and a little more, and then we got a life jacket for him. and. Then we thought, you know, he seemed to like it so much that it's about a 10 minute car ride to get there from here. So we thought, you know, wouldn't it be easy if we had a little pool in the backyard? Maybe he would like that. So we started off with one of those little like blow up whale pools and he really liked that. And we're like, well, we should probably get something a little bigger. So, you know, started off to be like that deep. Then we went to like an eight foot pool and it was a 10 foot pool. And then it was a 12 foot pool. <laughs> And last year we got him a 15 foot pool and it was so unexpected because so many people, like I said, they were like, no, they don't like water and he doesn't like the rain. Doesn't like the rain unless he's in his pool and then he loves the rain. A lady had a litter of four and they were all named after DC characters. So there was Raven and there was uh, Harley Quinn and the Joker and then there was Thor and all the other three, believe it or not, all of the three were spoken for. And yet when we met all these dogs, it was Thor who kept coming over to us. So it was almost like he picked us because it was just meant to be. He was the one for sure. <laughs> not everyone was happy that we brought a puppy home especially our little dog, Daisy. And so she was uh, pretty grumpy about it, probably for about a year. <laughs> and we bought one of those baby toys, like floaty toys that have the leg holes in it. So we left her in there and we harnessed Thor up to this baby floaty toy thing. And he did circles with her in the pool. And whenever she's not feeling well now, she'll go and like cuddle up with him and stuff. So they've, they've actually become really close in the last year and a half. It's come a long way since then. Today, for example, like he went out for a swim at six before his dad went to work. His dad took him out there for a quick rip in the pool. And, and so he usually goes in about three times, if not two, but usually three times. Theoretically, if he wasn't moving around, he could probably swim for about a half an hour. And he does little laps in the pool, but if no one else is in the pool, he just paces himself and goes really slow. But if one of us goes in the pool, he wants to race. That's his favorite thing to do is to race and make the whirlpool so he can drift around the side. I know it sounds a little, it just seems ridiculous. You know, slowly over the past little while, like he's built this little following of people who like to watch him swim in the pool. For us, he even made one person smile because like, he's gonna swim anyway, right? So it, it's really, you know, you can make even a tiny little bit of difference in the world for somebody and why not share it, right? Like, why not? <laughs> he makes me laugh all the time, just when we make videos or whatever. It's just all the time. When we started with the, the outdoor pool, come upstairs or even be downstairs and yell like, Thor, do you want to go? S-W-I-M-M-I-N-G. I can't say it now because he's going to get excited. And he stops what he's doing, drops whatever he has, and he's like, running out the door down the stairs and yeeting himself and into the pool right from like 
anywhere. He's fascinated with it, right? We can't, we can't keep him out of the pool. When Thor wants his cuddles, you know, sit down and watch TV time or whatever, he's a mama's boy. But when it comes time to play ball or goof around or whatever, he's a daddy's boy. So he splits himself pretty evenly down the middle. He finds something that you love to do with each of us. Anyone who comes in, in the house, he spreads his love around really evenly. <laughs> the best way to describe Thor is he wakes up every single day and every single day is like the very best day of his life every single day you know we get up and you're like oh and you you could let something as simple as the weather kind of like not ruin your day but you know it starts kind of dampering your day and he wakes up and he sees that it snowed and he like runs in circles and he's flipping the snow up in the air and you know he just he finds a way somehow to make <laughs> the very best of every single day and it's it's super <laughs> contagious he works for treats right he loves treats almost as much as he loves the pool. So he's pretty easy like that. He'll do he'll do just about anything. But his joy and his love just for life, it's really contagious. When we paddle out into the lineup, people smile. There's no doubt. You know, and we'll take off on a wave and I hear people going, Rosie, go, Rosie. It's it's pretty cool. There's actually quite a few people who surf with their dogs and then we have these competitions where they surf on their own and they're